Hello VR days! Welcome to Tivoli Cloud VR! And we are overjoyed to be in Amsterdam, at least virtually. We really love that city and the conference is just the best VR conference ever. We are days rock. <laughs> and of course we are overjoyed to introduce our social VR platform to you. But let's introduce ourselves first. Hi, I'm Caitlin Meeks, CEO and co-founder of Tivoli Cloud VR. I'm also a programmer and content creator for the platform. Before co-founding Tivoli Cloud, I helped design and operate the Unity Asset Store and worked as director of content and chief evangelist at High Fidelity. Hello, my name is Christina Kinne, aka KS Princess in VR, and I'm the CMO of Tivoli Cloud VR. And for half my life, I've been a filmmaker. But then five years ago, we all came along and turned my life upside down. Like all my dreams of Neuromancer and Snow Crash became true. And now I'm so happy to help these lovely ladies to build a truly creative, friendly and inclusive metaverse. Hi, I'm Maki. I'm the CTO and a full stack developer at Tivoli. I'm responsible for technical aspects of the platform, all the way from the back end and cloud infrastructure to the rendering pipeline and to DevOps and web development. I am also a 3D artist and graphic designer when I have time, which isn't that often. And this is a picture of us at our first party in High Fidelity which was founded by Philip Rosedale in 2013 as a successor of Second Life. And actually more than $70 million of venture capital went into that fine piece of software. And I'm so grateful that Maki and Caitlin picked up this code. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. $70 million and seven years of R&D to create this innovative new platform. Um, High Fidelity pivoted in 2018 towards a different business strategy, and uh, Maki and I decided to continue developing that core platform as Tivoli Cloud VR. Uh, Tivoli is a public benefit corporation, and our legally stated purpose in our articles of incorporation are creating positive social impact by leveraging VR technologies promoting open source VR as a public resource and enriching the lives of individuals through an open metaverse. And you really did that because I was like so lost when High Fidelity pivoted because I love to hang out in crowds and the distributed architecture of our software is the only one on the market who can really host crowds in VR. Yeah. That's right, um, because unlike other platforms, we're not just overloading one server. We have a dynamic distributed server stack that can scale, and we offload the various aspects of the world that needs simulation onto these different components. So we have um, one that is dedicated to audio, one that's dedicated to entities and things in the world and their physics another for avatars, another for messaging, and various administrative tasks. Um, this lets us scale them up to handle any kind of workload you can throw at them. So at our big um, load test that we had, this one's back at High Fidelity, we handled about 500 users by putting the most important uh, workload onto 96 core AWS instances without a problem. And this not only saved my sanity, but the sanity of many people in the Corona crisis. Like actually we planned to go into early access later that year, but when the lockdown happened, we saw that the, there's just so much need for a shared space in social VR that we opened our early access on July 11th, 2020. Yeah. This office here is our first B2B project. We built this for a client who still wanted to meet in a familiar space during the Corona crisis and we provided them with any office tools they could wish for. That's right, like um, Tivoli shared desktop, 
which is a virtual computer in the cloud. And it is in perfect sync and completely interactive for all people in world. Um, that's how we displayed our slides here. Um, but there's so much more you can do with it. You can use any remote working platform like Slack or um, our Discord server here. You can use Discord. Um, and you can make use of the Google Suite, like our, our calendar up there. That's all made with uh, Google. And you can even write into a Google document together. Hello. We are days. <laughs> you can even watch uh, videos together in perfect sync from really any video platform you can use uh, in your browser, like this video from a lecture at uh, Simon Fraser University. Wow, this is really meta now, frame in frame. But this is also a good showcase for our Twitch chat integration here, mm. which is handled by the teacher's assistant from within VR. You can even watch Netflix together or play games. Really anything you can do with another person around a computer in the real world, you can do together in Tivoli with shared desktop. And we can even do Zoom calls. Let's call somebody. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Chaos. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Philip. <laughs> Am I here in uh, Amsterdam as well? You're in Tivoli Cloud VR and at VR Days Amsterdam, both at the same time. <laughs> How great. This is an amazing new capability you have here. Oh, thank you so much for helping us showcase this and for this wonderful social VR world. We couldn't have done Tivoli without you. Well, it's exciting to see how you're using it and making it better and keeping VR going. This is great. Thanks. Thanks a million to you, Philip. And we really hope to see you back in world soon. We're going to go on with our tour and say bye-bye, Philip. And thank you so much. Great to talk to you. Bye, you guys. Bye. bye. Thanks a lot. And welcome to our club here. This is where we had our early access access party and two lockdown dance parties, which we organized as fundraiser for Folding at Home's vaccine research. And it was just such a blessing to be able to dance in a crowd again. That's right. And hey, this club is a very good example of Tivoli's audio attenuation zones. In Tivoli, you can define spaces that establish the relationship between places in world and loudness. So you can go out on the dance floor and dance to some really thumping loud music or come out in the periphery and have a nice quiet conversation without the music stepping on top of it. And this is where we are is so much better than real life. I love this conversation we are having but now I want to go wild on the dance floor. Chaos is in full body tracking, um, which means she has little tracker detectors on her feet and her abdomen and pelvis. Um, and so every little move she makes out there in real, real life is being transmitted pretty faithfully to her avatar. So in the real world, she's really busting a move in her living room and from the looks of it, probably working up a sweat. Um, these lights and particles that you see around us, these were made by Brainstormer, who's also our DJ. Everything in Tivoli, like these lights and particles, are scriptable using Tivoli's JavaScript API. You can even do things like write a script to adjust the gravity. You don't need to know how to code in C++ or use Visual Studio to do things like that. You can just crank it out in JavaScript or TypeScript. Check out our CMO up on that acorn. That's a spherical gravity script by Fluffy Jenkins. Hey, here we are on our landing world, the Squirrel Nut Cafe. 
I made this place in Blender, the free and open source 3D software, along with the Tivoli Tools Blender add-on, which lets you not only create and sculpt stuff and make the 3D models around us, but to very carefully and precisely place objects that Tivoli uses when you start up the virtual world. So you can create things and place them in world and set attributes like physics properties or turn on cloning. So this even supports foot fights in <laughs> frisbee mode. And I really love our clonable and physical objects. And I can bring you a coffee. And of course, in addition to Blender, you can use also all kinds of different modeling software you prefer, like Maya or Cinema 4D or even Gravity Sketch or Tilt Brush. And in terms of materials, Tivoli supports PBR rendering and all kinds of old and new and future formats like OBJ, FBX or even GLTF. That's right. And at Tivoli, we think your assets are very important. The models and avatars you create, you should be able to host them anywhere you want. So you could put them on your own server or on Amazon AWS. But if it's really important to you, you can put them up on our free and easy to use cloud uh, storage system, Tivoli Files, um, which contains content protection tools so people won't go and steal your hard work. And as a content creator, this is really comforting that you can't be ripped off. I say, cheers to that. Ah, oh, I love that place so much. It even tidies it up by itself. And it displays just wonderfully Tivoli Cloud VR's technical amenities. But that's not the only feature we focus on. We also focus very heavily on the social aspect of social VR. Like VR as an early adopters medium can be very intimidating, at least it was for me, because often I was like the only person who couldn't code. And that's why we really want to enforce building a warm and welcoming and inclusive atmosphere for all kinds of knowledge levels, age groups, genders, and everybody <sighs> should feel warm and welcome here. That's right. Because, I don't know, I, we really see VR as kind of a magical and delightful space. Um, you know, a place where there's opportunity for people to connect and to create positive social impact through potentially something that could become a, a virtual utopia. We want to do this right so that it has a positive energy and people enjoy themselves here. And of course, such a virtual utopia is only as good as the community in it. So we'd be overjoyed if all of you could make an account at tivolicloud.com and visit us in world. And if you need special help, just look up Christina Kinne on the VR Days website and I'll gladly give you a tour in Rome. Mm -hmm. And you can also reach us on our Discord uh, or on Twitter and Facebook. You can find links for those on the TivoliCloud.com website. See you soon. See you soon on Tivoli Cloud VR.